In the coming set of videos, we'll be looking at what all the students can do in Fidina. So I log in as a student now. I'm using the student account. User6 is the username. User6123 is the password. And here I can check the dashboard. So this is the first page that the student can see after logging in. So this is where he'll be informed about the examinations, his timetable, any news, events, and so on. He can manage to see this by using this manage dashlet option. So every box that you see here is called as a dashlet and it gives you some information about your institute. So when you go to manage dashlets, you can check the options that you want to see and uncheck the ones that you do not want to see on the dashboard. You can see these details for any date. So I can scroll it to see for the next date as well, or I can choose a date from this calendar. So this is how the dashboard of the student looks like. And every student can manage their own dashlet. So the information that they want to see on their dashboard can be managed when the student logs in. Now let's see other functionality that the student has. Under academics, he'll be able to check his academic details. That means his examination related report as well as the attendance report. In assignment, he'll be able to submit the assignment to the teacher. He'll also be able to view the due date of the assignment. He can submit the assignment as an attachment as an answer as well. He can view the academic calendar as set by the administrator. If the student is a part of discipline related issues, which means the discipline complaints, he'll be able to see the same here. He can check the status of the discipline issues by using this option. He can check the books that are available in the library and search them using the library option. He can check his profile by going to my profile option. He can check the fee related information, the remarks and the activities on the profile. He can give online examination and also view the result of it. If the student is invited for any placement activity, he'll be able to see the status of the same under placement. In timetable, he'll be able to check the timetable that is followed by his batch and also he'll be able to view the classroom and the building allocations. So this is what all he'll find under academics. Let's see what he can find under collaboration. He'll be able to create his blog and comment on the posts of other blogs. He can be a part of online meetings. He can be a part of discussion groups and also create posts and share it with other members of the same group. He can share documents. He can also fill in forms, which can be the normal private public or feedback forms. He can view the photos that are uploaded by the Fadina administrator. He can also check his Google Docs if he's logged in using the Google account. He can check the news as published by the Fadina administrator. He can also participate in polling activities and view the result. And also the tasks that are assigned to him, he can check the same from here. So this all he'll be able to do under collaboration. Let's see the apps option. Apps option will give him the access to third party applications as set by the Fadina administrator. So if as a student, I've been given a privilege to view these applications, I'll be able to view and perform actions inside it. Generally, these applications will fetch Fedina data and show the same in this frame. Depending on the functionality of the application, the same will be available under apps. The student can also view the messages using this option. So here he can view the automatic triggered messages or the messages that are manually sent. For example, the events that are created, the fee related messages, which are automatically triggered. Then we also have the online exam results, scheduling and publishing. We have the complaints that are registered, the task related messages that will automatically come and also the result of the result publishing and the examination schedule. So all these messages are automatically triggered. He can also create messages and send it to the teachers of his batch. He can send it to his batch students as well and also to his own parent. 
So this is a communication system, internal communication system that can be used by the student. So this is an overview of what all the student can do in Fedina. In the coming set of videos, we'll have a look into the details of what all the students will be able to do under academics, collaboration and apps. So be tuned in for more videos.